1984. George Orwell wrote a fantasy book titled 1984. It's not a fantasy anymore. Uh, what he called Newspeak is now coming true. Uh, his examples were BB, which stands for Big Brother, Belly Feel, which is the blind, enthusiastic acceptance of an idea, or the term Black White, to accept whatever is told regardless of the facts. Well, that's from his book. Here are some Newspeak words used by the abortion bunch. Planned Parenthood. <laughs> Think about it. If you had planned, you wouldn't be pregnant. And if you wanted to be a parent, you wouldn't be having an abortion at Planned Parenthood. Fetus. It's a baby. But they call it a fetus because that sounds less personal. Toys R Us had a division called Babies R Us. Doubt if they considered changing it to Fetuses R Us. <laughs> Ever seen a fetus card? Or attended a fetus shower? Me neither. It's a baby, but they call it a fetus, the medical term that the new speakers have adopted. Adopted. Get it? Okay. By the way, Toys R Us went bankrupt while donating money to Planned Parenthood. <laughs> Say la on that for just a minute. They donated funds to an organization whose purpose was to reduce their target market's population. No wonder they went bankrupt. Okay, here's another one, Newspeak. Reproductive rights. They claim to want to protect reproductive rights. I'll just point out that every one of the 63 million aborted babies have lost their reproductive rights. Let's go to ethics. There's a guy in ethics named Rawls, who might be the progenitor of the Kelly Blue Book. Here's how it works. This guy Rawls said that we should adopt a veil of ignorance. Here's an example. I have a 2010 Chevy pickup truck that I want to sell you for $5,000. As the buyer, you think it's worth $3,000. In economics, we call that self-interest. How do we settle this? Rawls says we drop a veil of ignorance on both the buyer and the seller. Well, that's the Kelly Blue Book, if you're wondering how that enters into this conversation. Now, in abortion, we ask what an impartial observer would say. Uh, if you know your economics, that's from Adam Smith. Yeah, that guy. In his first book, titled The Theory of Moral Sentiments. Okay, applied to abortion, Rawls and Adam Smith would want to ask the baby, do you want to stay there in your warm mother's womb or be cut to pieces and sucked out with a vacuum cleaner? Answer is rather obvious, isn't it? I'll take the liberty to rephrase what Ronald Reagan said. Everyone who is for abortion can't be a victim of it. Just two more subjects quickly because I'm running out of time. Science is based on observation. Why don't we all observe an abortion? If it's such a great thing, let's take a look. By the way, medical science says the baby is not a part of the mother. It is a separate being, legally just for a second. The baby is a separate being. A pregnant woman can drive in the high occupancy vehicle lanes in Dallas because there are two people in the car. And if you cause an accident that kills a pregnant woman, you can be charged with two counts of homicide. Abortion is wrong as a Christian means, and it's wrong as an economic ends. Or said the other way, life is right as a Christian means and as an economic end.